next function that I want us to look at is called the exponential graph. As the word says, it's exponential. We should do x, we exponent in that particular case. For example, I want us to look at these few graphs. The first one is y is equals to maybe 3 to the power x. That's the first graph that I want us to look at. The second graph in Professor C. Buge is what you, uh, y is equals to 3 to the power minus x. I want you to see the effects of these graphs. The third one, maybe let's just play games with you and say y is equals to, let's make it a fraction, 1 over 3 raised to the power x. I want us to look at these three graphs. How do I go about sketching these graphs? Remember, my exam is only three hours. I always try to cut corners where I can. Look at the first one. This is what we call an increasing graph. See, an increasing graph. There is a point that we must know in exponential graph that any number to the power zero is what? Any number to the power zero is one. So we know that whenever we make, we, we just want to find coordinates. If sends are x is zero, what is going to be the value of this graph or of y? If x is zero, what is y? y will be equals to three to the power zero, which is equals to one. So we know that we do have a point here. If my y is one, we do have coordinates there. If x is zero, y will be one. We know this point. In most cases, this exponential graph will always cut at that point because when you make this zero, this whole thing will be equals to one. Right. Let's move on. This, you refer to this as an increasing graph. It starts from the bottom, so it is important that we must have an idea of an exponential graph. For example, this is a typical example of an exponential graph. So I do have a picture, I do have a mind map. So it is important that a straight line graph falling as the graph Mganjan. Makuyan a parabola, gas with Mganjan. Makuyan a hyperbola, gas with the graph Mganjan. Makuyan a exponential gas to graph Mganjan. Makuyan a log graph gas. Makuyan a circle. I must have it in my mind, what we call the mind map of what I'm doing. Therefore, I know that this one, in this case, this will be the asymptote. Like graphing at the corner. But you can't see this asymptote. Goba inga panty, we cut it and plain. But once I shift it, you can be able to see the asymptote. So this graph, to sketch it, it will be a graph like this. It should go up exponentially. But I don't have to show the table that's on this card. In this case, I can just show the second point, then it will be sufficient. How do I show the second point? Suppose now, I, this point, I found it with against x u zero. What if against x one? What will be the value of y? If I make x u one, u y is over. If it's like three to the power one, u y is over one egg. Y will be equal to three to the power one. Uba no three to the power one, u three. In other words, I do have another point. Other people would have done this, push, uh, use the table. But I avoid using a table. If this is uh, x, this is y. If x is zero, if x is one. If x is zero, what will be one? It will be one. one. If x is one, what will be y? It will be three. Because three to the power one is three. That is what we call the table. But I'm not interested in the table in this particular case. I want us to sketch the graph. Now, if I make x equals to one, y will be three. So I know the value of this point. x is one, y is three. One is two, three. These are the coordinates of that point. If you just show us two coordinates, then it will be sufficient to sketch this graph. So I've just sketched the graph of y is equal to three to the power x. It is a typical graph like this one. If You've got to show these two coordinates. You can even show the one this side. You can take minus one and get the corresponding y value of it. Now, I want you to notice this one. This one is three to the power x. This next one is three to the power minus x. We call that one a decreasing function. In other words, if I was to sketch it, if I were to sketch it, it will be a graph like this one, decreasing. It's coming from top, it's going down. This one is starting from up, from down, I'm going up. We call it the increasing function. This one is decreasing. What is the function? The graph y, y. When the janu y man gives to a we decreasing. When the janu y la, we are y ya as I go up. So we call it the increasing function. That other one is called the decreasing function. And we know the coordinates of this point. U x, u u magabe u x. Any number to the power zero would be one. So we should put u y is over one la paya. X u zero, y u one, u one. Uzoba one la paya, y one. 
Right, let me just find the other point. If I take it here as minus one, as minus one, another thing that might help, okay, let me just start with this one. If we x a minus one, look here, push minus one here, let's work it out. Three to the power minus, x what is one, we say minus one. What is this going to give us? Three, this times that, it's positive. Three to the power one, which is uh, three. So y will be positive 3. If x is minus 1, y will be somewhere there as positive 3. So I know the coordinates of this point. It is x where x is minus 1 and y is 3. So these are the coordinates of that point. Now, it, 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 I wanted you to see the relationship between this graph and this graph. The other one, we call it, it's a reflection of the other one. If I take this graph and reflect it along this point, it will become that graph. So or when you reflect it, just change the value of, 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 of x, so I'm negative. So it will be a tip, if, I, if I'm sketching it on the same system of x's, Wungabai graph, M Ganji, you can see that this point has been transformed to this part, to this point here, in this particular graph, where I will have minus 1 is 2, 3. Why I got shinchi, like how three? Because when you look at this graph and this one, what, what, what has changed? We value got x, one negative, now x will be positive. So we, it's just a reflection of the other one. So it will just stand in that position. So this is a typical graph of, of a negative one. Let's look at the graph, which is a fraction. It is important to note that this graph can also be written in the form, let's try and write this one and, and, and make uh, not a fraction. This is gonna be y is equals to three to the power minus one. This is the same as one over three. This is raised to the power x. Let me multiply my exponents. Let me break those brackets. What is this gonna give me? It's gonna give me y is equals to three to the, this times that, it is minus x. Ah, this graph is that one. So it means this is exactly the same as this. It was just put in another form. So we should not be confused when you see a, a fraction. I must know that I've got to put it in this form. Give what here, find exactly So sketching this graph would be doing the same thing as sketching this other graph. So this is what we call the exponential graph. Thank you.